Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 12 different ways that you can use your note pages in your Erin Condren. So the first way you could use the pages is to keep track of important phone numbers that you need to access like at a moment's notice. Um, so I actually keep all of mine in my home binder, which I have done a video about and I'll link it in a card up here in case you want to see that. But for example, like you could put your bank phone number, your home insurance, plumber, your kid's school, etc. Another thing you could do is keep track of return policies for stores that you go to a lot. Um, so like for example, I have Sephora here and I only shop at Sephora online so I just wrote online there. A couple of the policy details that I need to know as well as how I can go about returning it. So I think this is pretty handy especially for stores to go to all the time. Another thing that you could keep track of back here is your cleaning zones. If you do zone cleaning, this would be a really great place to keep track of all of that. Um, so for example, I have zone one, which is kitchen things, zone two, which is living room, three bathrooms, and so on. And I have used um, some kind of random stickers from the different little samplers. You know, the ones that you get with your sticker orders. I just kind of sprinkled a few throughout here just to kind of try to use them up a little bit. I find as a YouTuber that it's really helpful to have like an idea of things that I want to make videos about. So I just used some Me and My Big Ideas stickers up here and wrote out video ideas and then I just listed a whole bunch. Again, just added a few little stickers for fun. Something else that's really handy, especially if you have a family and you never know what to make for dinner, like I do, um, is a sheet with just your favorite meals. That way if you're ever like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to make, I don't know what we haven't had in a while, blah blah blah, um, I just wrote out a bunch of our family's favorite meals and then put little heart stickers from a sampler sheet um, next to the ones that are like our favorite favorites. Um, so yeah, and I just did a little bit of washi, a couple more little stickers, like nothing too crazy. Speaking of stickers, the back pages of the Erin Condren are a great place to put down like the little like logo stickers that come on the sticker sheets that you order. And this is a great way to one, not only keep track of shops that you've ordered from, but also you can add like their little coupon codes or whatever next to it. If you are struggling for a way to use like your graph paper pages, um, I think trackers are a really great way to use those. This past summer, my son and I went on a road trip from Los Angeles all the way up to Portland, Oregon. And I knew that I wanted to save about a thousand dollars for like the food while we were gone and doing fun stuff up in Portland. So this was how I kept track of all the money that I was saving. And it's really pretty and kind of fun and it kept me motivated. So I think this is a really cool idea. Another way you could use the graph pages is to track your weight loss for the year. So I've just used the month stickers down here so I wouldn't have to write them out. And then um, 1 through 25 along this side and you can just every month just track like how much weight you've lost from the previous month. And you can see it go up or you can track your actual weight and have it go down or whatever you need to do. I don't personally track my weight loss or anything like that so this is just an example to show you guys but I thought it would be be helpful. Another fun thing to do um, in the graph pages is to like rate your favorite books of the year or give a rating to the movies that you've seen throughout the year or something along those lines. So I just drew in a graph over here and numbered one through five one being meh and five being awesome and then just some of the books that I've read over the year and I gave them a rating as to how well I like them or not. I added a little bit of washi, another little sampler sticker and this is a really easy page to set up. Another thing you could do with the graph pages are to do a mood tracker. Um, so I have seen this on bullet journaling like inspo things and whatever and I thought you know there's graph paper in the back of the Erin Condren you could totally do this there too. Um, again just did the months January through December and then I numbered 1 through 31 which is the most number of days there are in a month. So every day you just go in and color one of the squares with the corresponding color of how you were doing that day. So like for my birthday, which is on June 28th, I will probably have a big green square there because I'm busy celebrating, you know? Or if I'm just having a really, really crappy day, it'll be gray somewhere on here. And I think over the course of the year, this would be really cool to see kind of how your moods fluctuate and all that. I was also thinking if you got rid of like this portion, you could totally keep track of like your menstrual cycle this way and see like how 
evenly they align every month or whatever. You could just like mark out the days that you're on your cycle. So that's another option. Something fun to do in the back of your Erin Condren is to put little samples of your favorite washi tapes. Or if you have a lot of washi, you could use several pages and catalog like your whole collection. But I just did some of my favorites. And then lastly, I thought it would be good to have a pen test page. So here I've just written with a bunch of different markers. Um, so like for example, this one is the Papermate Flare in purple. So I just wrote what kind of pen it was. And then I can see if it bleeds through the back and how different sorts of pens will work in the Erin Condren. If you guys have any other suggestions for great ways to use the back pages, make sure to leave them down in the comments below so that everyone can benefit from them. I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, please make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And that is pretty much it for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.